It's April 1984, and outside the Libyan embassy in London, a demonstration by opponents of Colonel Gaddafi. Police are in attendance, including here, WPC Yvonne Fletcher. But moments later, a peaceful protest is disrupted. A gunman inside the embassy shot dead WPC Fletcher and injured 10 others. 30 years on, newly released government documents from the National Archives have revealed the Foreign Office was warned of possible violence. And this file from the British ambassador to Tripoli confirms he'd been warned as well. The colleagues who battled to save the life of Yvonne Fletcher, like John Murray, are shocked the intelligence wasn't used to protect police. If they knew shots were going to be fired from that embassy, we were actually placed in front of a firing squad with no thought given to us or the demonstrators that day. And who made that decision and why? Oliver Miles was the British ambassador to Tripoli. The documents show he bet a Libyan diplomat that nothing would happen at the protest. Today he stressed to us he was taking that threat seriously. I had no, uh, no understanding of what was going to happen. I didn't, and that's what the bet really meant, that I, I wish I hadn't made the bet. I mean, it looks silly in retrospect, but the reason I did it was because I didn't believe that anything serious was going to come. I thought, I thought it was bluff. That day in 1984 left Britain devastated and left Britain's relationship with Libya destroyed. But the killer or killers of WPC Fletcher have never been identified. Three decades on, Libya says it will continue to give British police their full cooperation to bring justice for Yvonne Fletcher. Julian Drucker, Five News.